Here at Buddy's Cannabis in San Jose, it's the night before the big day, and they do not want to repeat Colorado's mistakes and sell out. Lessons from Colorado, um, it's to stock up. And boy, have they. Owner Matt Lucero has just bought another quarter million dollars worth of marijuana to get ready for the rush, cramming it all into five safes. With new recreational use customers, Lucero thinks sales will jump 30%. You know, my goal here is to be like the high-end craft brewer, not Anheuser-Busch making you know, low-end product for the masses. Matt quit his job in corporate law back in 2010 and since then has been hashing it out with the city and the state, helping to craft regulations. Buddies is the first dispensary to be licensed by the state's Bureau of Cannabis Control. His permit number is one. How does it feel to be first? It feels amazing. I mean, it's the culmination of years of lots and lots of hard work. So um, we didn't push our way to get to the first. We worked hard, hard, long hours to get here. San Jose's ordinances are some of the toughest in the state, limiting operating hours, locations, and even the total number of dispensaries to 16. Matt is taking it a step further and will provide written warnings about the dangers of smoking and driving. We are here for the long term. We want acceptance from the community, and we think that if we lead the way, acting responsibly, acting transparently with the city of San Jose and with the police department, um, that we will gain that acceptance and we will get the credibility that, that we deserve. And because of all the new taxes going into effect tomorrow, expect to see prices go up. However, some of these dispensaries will absorb the cost, some of them will not, so expect to see prices go up anywhere from 5 to 15 percent. Here at Buddy's, the big day starts at 9 a.m. on New Year's Day. In downtown San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.